Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy YCV Man, and today we are talking about Sneeko and how his grifting is finally backfiring. But before we get into it, I just want to remind you to please share, like, and subscribe. Um, follow me on all of my social media pages. They will be listed in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch and join the Discord. Um, but with that out of the way, let's get into this topic. So, Sneeko. My main, actually, I think pretty much almost everyone's main criticism about Sneeko is that he comes off as a grifter, right? Whoever he is hanging out with at the time, he kind of adapts to their ideologies and he makes them his own, essentially. For example, when he first started to hang out with Fresh and Fit, he started to get more and more into the red pill. Then after that, he was constantly begging to be around Andrew Tate and he even started to emulate his posture and even how he held his hands. This man would griff so hard and he was sucking off Andrew Tate so hard to the point where he would even have his hand similar to him. You know how cringe this is? Look, look at this. Look at this. Why? Why? Why are you going that far? Why? And soon after Andrew Tate, he started to hang around Zerka and Nick Fuentes, I believe, around the same time. And he started to adapt a lot of their racist ideologies and conservative ideologies as well. Before I even continue, let me say, I do not think all conservatives are racist. I feel like I need to put that message out there before I even continue to talk. And then after Nick Fuentes and Zerka, then he suddenly became a Muslim. And now that is the group that he's currently sucking off now. For a lack of better words. Now, a lot of us can agree, yes, religion is great. It's great that he found religion. But the issue is when someone like Sneeko, quote, finds religion, it, it doesn't come off as authentic. It comes off as this is, is just another group that he's grifting. Now, here's the issue. All of those people that I just named, they have their own very specific fan bases. And within those very specific fan bases, they all have their own ideologies and thoughts. When you grift to these people, they are going to think that you think exactly like them. But the issue with Sneeko is when he starts grifting off into the next situation, in this case it's, it's Islam, when he's grifting off into Islam and he no longer has the same views and opinions that he had previously, now those group of people that you uh, previously bought over onto your platform, now they're looking at you like, hey, I thought Sneeko was one of us. He's over here talk, talking about the whites. Well, I thought he was a white supremacist too. And now that brings us to today. So basically, people are on Sneeko's right now. And it's because of this tweet right here. He says, soon people will know the truth about the beautiful country of Haiti. And this is Sneeko in a car and in Haiti, I guess. Um, so yeah, people are very annoyed. Let me explain to you why people are annoyed, right? Because there is... There's only one reason as to why Sneeko even felt the need to tweet this, right? For those of you that did not know, Sneeko is half Haitian. He's half he's half Haitian and Asian, I believe. I don't know what type of Asian, but yes, he is half Haitian, so he's half black. His dad is from Haiti. So, I don't know if you guys are privy to what's been going on in the news as of late, but conservatives have been taking this wild narrative that illegal Haitians in America are taking people's pets, their cats, their dogs, and they are eating them. This has come straight from the mouth of J.D. Vance and Donald Trump as well. Sneeko heard this and he was like, they made this story up. He did not agree with it. So when he saw that, he decided to post that tweet and everybody got on his now you guys are probably asking, well, why did everybody, you know, why are they mad at that particular tweet? They are mad because Sneeko is a hypocrite. You cannot say that Haiti is such a beautiful country, this and that and blah, blah, blah. Look, we aren't going to sugarcoat things here. And this is not me talking disrespectfully on Haiti um, at all. But the fact of the matter is that Haiti is still one of the least developed countries in the Western Hemisphere. So with that in mind, literally weeks ago, Sneeko was going on a rant on Twitter about how India is disgusting, Indians are disgusting, why do they, uh, why do they worship cows, this and that, just going in on India, their religion, the people, etc, etc, talking so much garbage. But now, but now when your country is getting picked on, now it's, oh, Haiti is so beautiful, Haiti is this, Haiti is that, and you feel the need to defend it, but you make fun of the people that felt the need to defend their own country, which was India. That's why people are on his right now. Yeah, it doesn't feel good when people talk 
about the country that your dad is from. And if you guys don't believe me that he was making fun of Indians, check out this video. Uh, what is this language? Half English, half. Don't ever talk about the cow. I open a Twitter and I see Barry Stanton talking about the poop and the cow. But we think the cow is the mother of God, so don't talk about my cow. Don't. No, sir, don't talk about my cow. So also as of recent, um, Nick Fuentes and Sneeko have been going back and forth because Nick Fuentes is surprised that Sneeko is saying all these positive things about Haiti and all these negative things about white people. So they've been going back and forth. And the clip that I'm about to show you, this is the clip that essentially triggered uh, Nick Fuentes. I mean, I've always held this position. Like, there's nothing, racism is not in the Bible. I'm sorry. I didn't know that people actually thought that. I didn't know that if people, you know what's crazy? I even see people in the chat like, what is Sneeko becoming liberal? Did you think conservatism was being racist? Some people do, dude. Some some people actually do. Where have you been? This is why I get so confused by these goddamn red pillars. It's like, where have you been? There is a reason why people conflate racism with being conservative. Because nine times out of ten, those individuals that are racist are usually conservatives. Not again, not saying that all conservatives are racist because I genuinely do not think that at all. I know conservatives that are not, that are indeed not racist. We just value different things that like, that's it. I think a woman has a right to make any choice about the, uh, you know, her body. They don't. So yes, there are plenty of conservatives that are not racist, but there is a reason as to why racism and, and being conservative are often conflated. Did you think that being a conservative was being a white supremacist? Where are you getting your conservative values? Conservative values come from your faith. It comes from the source. It comes from God. It does not come from Hitler. H Hitler's not God, bro. Conservative values are not hating other races. I, like there's a difference between wanting strong immigration laws and just thinking that you are the supreme race. I can't believe people like this is people thinking I'm attacking whites. What did Sneeko sell out? What? Did you think that I was a white supremacist? Yes, you jackass. Yes, you asshat. Yes. They thought that you were a white supremacist. Yes. Yes. Again, if you go back a couple of weeks, you literally posted one of the most racist AI images of black people and Jewish people. Yes. Every This is what happens when you grift, Sneeko. People are going to think that you align with certain ideologies. Yes. You started to hang around Nick Fuentes. You started to spew similar he was talking about so yes they thought that you were on their side stupid i don't understand how you could be this dumb yes that's exactly what they thought and you know what's annoying about this i sneak what sneeko is saying here is is not wrong he's actually right but he is the wrong person to convey this message when he's constantly been racist in his past and he's going to say oh those were jokes you can't take any jokes bro those were not jokes that's how you that's how you genuinely feel look I would understand if you make a distasteful like racist joke like in in private or whatever and you're laughing about it amongst like your friends or your family we all have dark humor we all have dark humor but when you openly do it on social media then that's totally different that's a different ball game yes these people thought that you were racist jackass i mean you are racist but these people genuinely thought that you were you know essentially a part of them because you were constantly grifting duh that's what happens okay let me let me put it to you like this right if i am in a racist biker gang right i'm a part of this gang and these people essentially think you know i'm cool or whatever because we have similar ideologies and i spew some of the most like racist crap that they spew they think that i think like them and, and in turn, they think I'm, quote, one of the good ones, one of the smart ones, right? Let's just say I'm with this biker gang in a bar, and then all of a sudden, a fight breaks out between this biker gang and a group of black people. They are going to be genuinely confused and upset when I side with the black people, and I say, I'm black. What did you think I was going to do? That is confusing. And yes, they are going to be upset with you, jackass. And then after Sneeko tweeted whatever he tweeted about Haiti and said whatever he said about Haiti, Nick Fuentes responded because he was salty. Because he said, oh man, I thought, you know, I thought you were on my side. I thought you love white people, et cetera, et cetera. That's why he's mad. So let's see what Nick Fuentes has to say. This clip is 10 minutes. We're not going to watch the whole 10 minutes. Haiti so much, he should just live there. Sneeko's, all he talks about now is Christians and white supremacists, this and that. Dude, this country was founded by white supremacists. If they saw you, they- But they weren't, they, this country was not founded 
by Mexican Italians. It wasn't. It was founded by British guys. It was not. So to try to attribute this, this is what happens with a lot of white people, is that they, they like to take credibility for something that they have nothing in. It was not founded by you. It was not founded by Germans and Italians. That's the majority of white people that make up America today. It was a couple British people. It was a couple British people. It would have enslaved your ass, bro. Sneeko. If the Founding Fathers saw you, they would have enslaved you. They'd be like, where is your owner, bro? And all he's talking about is white supremacists, white supremacists. This country was founded by white supremacists. Go and, and he's always talking about Haiti killed the slave owners. Haiti's uh, not so bad. Well, why don't you go live there, bro? Why don't you go bring Islam to Haiti? You can go be a... Uh, see, this is a very... This argument... It's like you didn't even see what I said. White people hold on to their white identity so much, they miss the argument. I'm saying we should call out the lie the same way we call out the 40 beheaded babies, and you should hold that standard when it's your Christian brothers being lied about. If there's a fake news article that's being spread by the president that we're both supporting, Trump, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. If they're lying about that publicly, we should call it out because that's fake news. I, again, I agree. I, <laughs> this is so weird. Again, yes. Hey. I agree. If something is fake, well, you should most definitely call it out because at the end of the day, it is a fake story. But I just find this so funny. I find this so funny because years ago, years ago, I remember it was Sneeko, Nick Fuentes, Destiny, Abba, and Gideon. I, I I think I got them all. They were in a group chat. They were in a in a uh, in a group like voice chat on Discord, and Sneeko was basically saying about how how much he likes nick and nick is all about positivity and he's talking about love speech and yada 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 and abba made one of the best points he said yo but in nick fuentes's world you wouldn't exist he believes white is right he believed that this entire world this this country should just be filled with nothing but whites and it's going to be pure in his country you will not exist and sneeko just got quiet but again that was him grifting but here he is today different ideologies different views and guys don't get me wrong that's bound to happen when you grow up and you become older like that's bound to happen but this is exactly what happens when you are constantly grifting towards different groups of people and yo Sneeko's audience is, is going in on this man because of this Sneeko taking L's day after day Low key looks like a crap hole outside. Looks like they're hunting cats in the background. You've spent your whole career spreading hate against minorities, but now all of a sudden get mad when people do the same about your country, Haiti. Hypocrite. We'll end it on that. We'll end it on that. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, Sneeko's still a joke. He's a hypocrite and He's going to be a grifter for the rest of his life because he's constantly going to be a lost little boy that doesn't know where he belongs. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with anything that I said? Do you disagree? Please do me a favor. Let me know in the comments down below. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Let's get to 10K, man. We are almost there. We are going to get to 10K uh, by the end of next week. I am so excited. Thank you all for you know supporting me again. I really do appreciate you. I am going live on Saturday, so make sure that you guys pull up on the live. I will be going live on youtube and twitch so make sure that you guys pull up and yeah join the discord i'll see you guys in the next video peace